Hello guys, welcome to Life Probe. And uh, if you already see me seated, just know it's a serious sit down, just about to begin. And today I'm not alone. I'm, uh, I have a panel and a guest and the topic of today will be fatherhood. Yes, yeah, so before I welcome the guest of today, let me just introduce our panel so that they can introduce themselves and we we'll get to know them better. Karibuni. Yeah. We'll start with Andy. <laughs> As he has said, my name is Andy. I'm born again. Um, I love Christ as my savior. Yeah, and I'm happy to be here. Okay, I'm Jeff Martin, and I love the Lord. I'm a worshiper, and uh, I'm happy to join the team today for this dis uh, this great discussion. And I thank the Lord. Amen. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and so without further ado, let's introduce the guest of today. Um, he's a father, yes. very good father. So let me give him a chance to introduce himself. Karibu sana. Asante sana, Andy. Um, Davy, Dave Jess is my name. Uh, Davy is me. Jess is this girl here. Yeah. It's uh, my queen, my wife. So I'm happy we have two kids. As you've said, it's true. I'm a father, and I thank God for that. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us today. Uh, we have experience on this side and we have real candid talk mm. from this other side uh on today's on today's topic fatherhood um andy what comes to mind when you when you hear about fatherhood what springs up the first thing um somebody who nurtures first of all somebody who is there because a father uh, in definition um is somebody who is actually there present in uh his or uh, his 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 child's life, yeah. So that, that's why one thing that comes in my mind: somebody who actually stays there. Some it's not actually um, the the person who uh, birth father is somebody who is there actually there, like uh, even a mentor. Like I have a mentor called Pastor Bobby. He's my father, not my actual father, but I call him my father. Somebody who is actually there present in a child's life yeah thank you very much uh, 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 it's it's more of a, a support system yeah okay thank you and and um is there any responsibility that is, is expected of a father specifically of a father specifically of a father um i, I think the the first thing that comes in my mind is um to be there for the child to direct him uh, if uh, in this discussion as a Christian to be there to show him the way of the Lord huh? as the Bible says train up a child in the way he would go and he shall not depart from him so to be there to show him the way of the Lord and to be there present to have a nini uh, to see a, a person to um, to get a like a, a mentor for your life to prepare you to be a father Thank you very much. Uh, Dave, you being a father, yes. um, when you entered into parenthood, is there anything that changed about your life? When I entered into parenthood, yes, yes a lot changed because life doesn't happen the same way it used to be when I was single. And uh, one of the things I can tell you is responsibility. Uh, that is very important as a father because when a child comes into the life of a parent, you see more than what you think that you could use like in terms of finances in terms of your presence in terms of uh, your 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 behavior you have to be uh, uh, responsible enough to see that you have a child that you're raising here and that child has to know there is a father that cares and loves me so that is uh, uh, something that actually I can say it went to another level though it has to be there inside you but now it manifests okay thank you and and does, does does gender really matter in terms of parenting? Does the, 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 is the same kind of love given to a girl expected to be given to a boy, is, is there a certain degree that varies? Uh, I think uh, gender matters so much because a father as a male and a mother who is a female, uh, that combination is what God had from the beginning. Remember Adam and Eve, these are two genders. Yeah. So uh, when it comes to real life even today, that has to be and anybody that speaks otherwise is against God's uh, plan and will and that uh, to a child that really matters there's a place that a father uh, the role of a father comes in 
and there's a place that is wrong in other country. So mm. that matters a lot. Hey, having that foundation, uh, I'll let you welcome our brother. There's this philosophy of a boy child is more closer to the mother than the father. Is it is is it a hormone imbalance or is it something that comes out co comes because of the relationship between the father? It, you know, it be, depends with the with the situation at home there. Yeah, the way your mother handles you, or the way your father handles you. Nothing to do with hormones and all that. You see, you, you see, uh, as they say that that the female is always favored by the the dad, and the guy is always favored by the mom. That one depends on the. That's the, now now that one depends with the how they are they are being raised. How the mother and the father are uniting together to raise their children. Yeah. But if the father or the mother decided to sideways, now that's where the problem always comes. Now the mother goes with the sons, and mm. now the ma father goes with the with the with the with the with the girls. Yeah. And, and what's your take on that? <laughs> yeah, take that. It, it 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 will determine again with the backgrounds of the the two, the mother and the father. There are people who come together. Um, uh, in in mind, she wants a child, or he wants uh, she wants a a girl, mm -hmm. and the man wants a boy, or vice versa. So it will determine the favoritism or the parents themselves. It will vary from uh, uh, from uh, different families. I wouldn't say that any uh, ladies favor more boys, or uh, the women uh, the men favor uh, girls. It will de determine again on the the way the 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 couple has been raised or what is their perspective when they are coming into the marriage because some some have been raised in a family where there is only boys mm. so when when she or he or she he comes to a family he wants a girl because he has never interacted with ladies yeah. so it will change in families that's uh, my perspective yeah uh and 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 th there's this i, I believe in one of <coughs> our, uh, any of our viewers have, have experienced this when there's this uh, kind of a, of a family set up that a father is more feared mm -hmm. than the mother. So when, let's say, Dave, you come mm -hmm. home yeah. and I'm your child, yeah. there was so much happiness and, and there's so much noise, mm -hmm. but once you just knock on the door, mm -hmm. everyone disappears. <laughs> <laughs> is it something that, that parents yeah, should be alarmed of? No, that, that, that should not be the, the, the way to go, but uh, it is happening, even if uh, that's not the way to go. Because it depends on how you present yourself to, to or how you package yourself before these children and also how they see you behaving even to how you treat your wife. Because you may treat the kids with a lot of care and love and playing, but when it comes to the wife, the way you treat your woman or your wife, it's different. And these kids, remember, they are watching. In fact, if there are people who learn uh, how best you love, if there's somebody who can tell us how you love. Uh, your wife is, is your own children. They can tell you a lot about how a dad treats the mother. Yeah. And so that's why you see fear because sometimes kuna wazazi wana ingiaga na ile chakule iko wapi, meza iwekelewe, nini, you know, kwanini ujafanya homework. You know, you start seeing duties, responsibilities, and there is no room for play, you know, and that creates fear. Yeah. Yes. Is it not just a matter of um, you being more firm with mm -hmm. your children? Yeah. Or you being very strict with your children yeah. to avoid them for, from departing? Yeah. Well, there is that uh, you can draw a line between uh, discipline or being firm when it comes to duties yeah. or doing, but also again, you being a human and a father who is friendly. You know, just like a, a leader, there is a leader who is dogmatic. You know, he controls people and releases. But there's a leader who is friendly. In fact, sometimes he doesn't have to tell you to do something, you just do it because the way he talks to you, the way he expresses himself. You know, there is a lot when it comes to facial expression, tone, and all that. And that children learn a lot. How you speak, your voice matters. How you look at them. But anyway, it's, it matters in all those areas. So there's a yeah. place for that and there's a place for... Uh, have you taken, do you have a take on that? <laughs> yeah, because uh, the way I said it, yeah. you know, kuna mzazi. Yeah the action yake tu yenyewe inakuonyesha like the mood yeah. yes yenye nao kwa nyumba of which uh, tuliumbwa hivyo kama wanaume yeah. that so that we know how to control the family yeah. you should know how to control them in a way that uh, watakuzoea pia sana 
because pia ile uzoefu pia ni mbaya. Mm. As long as mtoto wako atakuzoea, anaweza kuibisha hata mbele ya wageni siku moja. Mm. But e, akijua movement zako na akijua vile wewe huwa una act wakati you mid business or when, when you are serious, mm. he'll always respect that. He will know when you are in the mood of we are in a good mood or you are in a bad mood. And when you are in a bad mood, they will always respect that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it might take, uh, uh, me seeing a lot of movies, I'm a f- movie fanatic. Yeah. Uh, I have learned fr- uh, from these movies that uh, the parents always play two roles. A uh, good cop and a bad cop. Yeah. Yani when, uh, when something happens to a child, there is always, uh, the, the, the mother goes to the father and tells him go and discipline. The, <laughs> the, the child mm. <laughs> they were the children True. so they know the those uh, the, the two the two sides but in my take i, I believe that uh, the way that uh, children fear their fathers mm. is again based on the way you treat them mm. the, your interaction with them you know when you interact with them um, strictly they'll know our father is strict you are leata nini ukisikia shule mzazi amekuja dadia ko shule <laughs> like I used to have a friend in high school who, whose father was nini in the military. So when he would hear that his father amefanya kitumbaya na buda ndio amekuja anaingia nyasi. Sababu ile kidevu alikuwa anapewa. So he him and the interaction between him and his father wasn't that close because he associates his father as an angry person. Ile hata si zienda nimwambie kitu. Si nimwambie jana nilikunywa pombe. Because anajua Hakuna tukuongea mm. ni makofi hapo hapo. So uh, in my take I believe um, a, a father should be both a good cop and a bad cop. Such that when nisa ya discipline, anajua hii nisa ya discipline. Yeah. But discipline kisha kuna kuinteract, unaendelea ku associate with the, with the children. The children yeah. So that they are flexible with you. But I don't uh, think uh, that being uh, uh, all fathers are deemed as bad cops, mm. as bad people ile nikiingia ni authority 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 mm. so you na diversing nini even you can't tell your child uh, your, your your father something so you you tend to look that boys tend to talk to their mothers when things are nini of kitashushika tu kitatushishi anaingia na ongea na mama but aingie kwa buda buda na yanaambia na mama so inakuwa hakuna hiyo interaction inakuwa chain so ile not a, a way ile door an open door to go so inakuwa chain i talk to mom Mom talks to dad. dad. Kama anataka kiatu, naongea na mama, mama naongea nani? Inakuwa chain instead of a, a free runway. Unaweza enda nionge. Yeah. And and uh, d- does it not bring bring a perspective of I'll be more close to my mom mm-hmm. more than my dad. Yeah. And and you find that in the world of today, mm-hmm. you'll be called a mama's boy. Yeah, yeah mama's boy. Because yeah. when everything happens, the first person you you run to mm-hmm. is your mom. Yeah. Is this something that parents Parents should, should be afraid of, or is it, <laughs> is it just a stage in life that once you grow up, it will wear off? And, and so that's why we are here to correct that because I think one, uh, a child should look at you as an authority in her life or his life and respect both of you the same way. Mm. The father and the mother, you are parent to this child. So when the child starts respecting the father more than the mother, or she is more free with the mother more than you there shows it it creates a gap mm. you know the child is not so free with the father that means there are things that are quite enclosed yeah? you know because you are a father so there's a way you approach this child with a lot of like do, that dogmatic kind of leadership eh? when i was talking about that yeah. and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that way like for me i have a daughter and i have a son and both of them the way they approach my wife they approach me the same, same but when it comes to duties they know what a dad, the father can do and what the mother can mm-hmm. do so that's where now you see the difference and you see come come as my wife was there and were breastfeed and all that taking care of all that cooking being in the kitchen more than me because that's something that of course even naturally but doesn't mean that i don't go to the kitchen i also have been yeah. for me i'm out there providing you know nakuja na shopping and they can they acknowledge that they appreciate that hey daddy is coming no no i'm making beer no no so I give them a hug, all of them. So you can tell. So that is what is lacking today because the fathers now again have become so busy with life and so serious at home that mpaka watoto, wanaona tu, baba wanaona, 
uh, yeye ndiye kusema yeye kile atasema ndio itakuwa na siwezi ongea of course he is the head but that does not mean he use the head like a dictator mm. you know there's that, that room to listen to your child hata uh, kukam to career i wouldn't force my child to do what wewe utafanya law unakaa tu lawyer you know i would i, would, I want to see her i want to nurture her and that's why i'm a father a nurturer and i want to see what is that that she's interested in what is her passion mm. and then i nurture that and i care for that and i encourage that yes uh, and and where, where does where does this this circle or line of fatherly love and fatherly discipline because you will find that personally most of us yeah. when we were growing up there was that nachapa makosa sikuchapi wewe is that part of discipline or is, is, is it that love that that comes from a parent mm-hmm. you, you, i don't know whether i can respond to that to you uh, but i can say the bio, you know you i get me me the way i father my kids is the way i see uh, in the god's perspective like yeah. the way god nurtures us and fathers us he's the best father actually to emulate because god disciplines those he loves yeah. that's what the bible says so if i love my child i wouldn't say wacha tu iende wacha tu ipite akifanya makosa mm. I will have to discipline that child and it will not be easy. And the Bible says discipline is not easy. It's painful, yes. but it has a teaching. So what I do is like mtoto wangu akifanya makosa because they do. Um namwambia anga there's something that they love so much. Maybe there's a cartoon that anapenda sana na kuna time ile na watching. So some of the discipline doesn't have to be just cane or through, you know? Because of course the Bible says do not spare the rod. Okay. But not all the time that you use the rod. Sometimes you can have a way to punish her in a way that first of all you have to tell her what is the problem na ni kwa nini nina ku discipline ama ni kwa nini nimekukataza ile program unapenda sana leo hauta i watch i want you to go to your bedroom close the door and stay there for one hour mpaka your program iishe utai watch next week why because of something that you did that i didn't like and you have to say what exactly was that na unamwambia did, did we agree that hiki kitu ni vitu mbaya mm. anasema yes daddy did i tell you not to do it yes daddy did you do it yes daddy umefanya vibaya yes daddy so because of that hautaona program yako enda naita muumiza kwa sababu yes. kwa kwa room yake utasikia mimi hata analilia huko ndani mm-hmm. lakini akitoka anakuja amekwambia what when person akikosea mtu anataka kufanya nini kusema nini sorry. sorry so unamfunza tena i'm sorry that's courtesy and that helps a lot so and as a tell yenyewe hapo nimekosea yes. but then after that you cover it up like a sandwich you know because yeah. you've done something that is kind of sour but then you bring something sweet and be come kesho nakupeleka simu ama twende KFC ibu ingia kwa gari fungo hiyo getunaenda tu leo na husband peke yake and they're like Wee! look at that yeah. that blending is so awesome and it's needed in a family and a child yeah and and going back to the scenario you gave about the the the, the child being um the the, the son yeah. being very fearful yeah. of the father coming to school yeah. You know as, as you grow up as a teenager there are certain points in life that you need you feel that you need your parent to be there especially your father mm-hmm. in some in some situations yeah. does it apply that uh, a son should also try to reach out or should he just be on on that zone of <laughs> let, let me just wait <laughs> yeah yeah let me just wait maybe maybe the holy spirit will come into dad one day and things will be fine yeah uh, what i could say is like um You know uh, as a as a teenager personally they are not equipped to open mm-hmm. <laughs> there is a, there, they are in I was a teenager so I can say this I'm not yet a father but I was a teenager I'm not I, when I was a teenager I wasn't quite ready or oh, yani yeah, I'm going uh, uh, through a lot of processes mm-hmm. so I'm not used to opening up to my parents because in my mind I think they never uh, went through what I went through yeah ndona patanga mzai anakuambia hata mimi nilikuwa pale ulikuwa so you go and open up to your to your peers to your peers because they you are so, they are going through the same thing so I, i'd say uh, in this plain part that um, as a nini as a child there is that you as a parent you have gone through what you know akigonga from 12 because they start from 12 mm-hmm. teenagehood unajua hapa vitu nilikuwa napitia eh huwa ameanza kupitia mm-hmm. because he's human too so you are you are a father you're supposed to reach out that's why even going back to the bible god reached out to his children yes. because uh, nini the bible says nini we didn't do we didn't uh, do something good we, we did to to 
reach out to him. In fact, we are, you used to do bad things to reach, to ne, to go farther from God yeah. from Christ, but he reached out. So ukigoje okay, mtoto afungue hata funguka. Atafungukia watu watakani afungukie. Mm. Na now there'll be a gap between you and him. Maybe to say you have raised your child and in, in in Christian ways and whatever. Yes, watajaribu kufunguka lakini watafunguka kila kitu because they are going processes zile anapitia hata kufungukia kila kitu then it determines training up your child mm-hmm. eh? the interaction you have between akiom dogo as devia said eh, eh, kwanza ni recap when he said about discipline yeah. eh, when disciplining you are supposed to discipline and then unamwacha then unakuja unamwambia the the, recap, the repercussions and then una bind the love because many 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 uh, parents who are let and interact na now na their children mtoto anachapango na ambio kimbia kwa room nivo imesha kesho amka tukunye chai nivo hai jeisha you, you don't uh, 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 embrace tena umwambie kuja yes ulifanya nimekuchapa e, umepata the recap the recap uh, repercussions kuja let's bind this thing that's where you find the nini the distance between a father and the children ina kuanga high because now they associate him ni yule akuchapa kuchapa kuchapa mama at least anachapanga anakuambia eh hey, kuja kuja oh tuchonge viazi kitu kwa hiyo <laughs> eh? so hiyo inakuja inakuwa mended see unajua parents tear but they do not see me yeah. again the tear yeah. so hiyo inaendelea tu ikikuanga kubwa the tear the tear and the gap now kwanza in teenagehood inakuwa broad and broad and broad mm. so akukwangi na hiyo ku seem the in the tear yeah. one thing i know from the Kenyan jaribu ku Kenyan sema eh hata mimi nimetembelelewa na najua and i'm also now a parent mm-hmm. and in our family what we knew is that from our dad that discipline is paramount yeah. uh, east or west <laughs> discipline in the house was paramount and they, he was not joking when it came to discipline mm-hmm. and uh, we knew that so we had to be careful with him and uh, what i know from what uh, i learned na Kenya pia naangalia around si raisi babako akwambie nakupenda aambie yeah. mkijana nakupenda but deep inside when my dad was dying that is when i had him telling me that he loves me but he never told me but when he was dying tell me sign i love you something that is not easy for a man to a ma- to a man to tell yeah. a man but it is easy for a father to tell a daughter but not easy for a, a father to tell a son yeah. and the same same way is easy for a, a mother to tell a son i love you and it is difficult for a mother to say, tell a daughter i love you yeah. it's something that we always see around us yeah yeah, it's yeah. Society, it's, yeah. It's, in our society it's something yeah. that we see so what i would say is that tukwa na ile bond ya baba ile bond ya baba angeweza ku show alikuwa na feel i think kuna ile pride huwa wanakuwa nayo man to man anakuambia wewe ni man siwezi kuambia wewe ni nakupenda and a daughter na mwembrace because you see that gender yeah. and I'm impressed and your mama will embrace, your mama will embrace you as a guy yeah. but you will not embrace the the, the daughter so that why unaona ile entanglement in ndaga yeah and in your your connection why inaenda this side and this side mm-hmm. yeah and i think that's what we should correct yeah. because yeah. Uh, in, you know that is the in it society, society especially at kitambo jenini in it culture and all that african culture i think that's mm-hmm. what you're looking at yeah. and which is actually affecting us yeah, because yeah. Imagine mtoto wako a daughter ame ame rizua up na wewe and you have never even said i love you daughter wakati yako kwa kama umesema deathbed sasa sasa hiyo ndio unasema son i love you yeah. and ikwenda wow. anaenda mtoto yeah. wangu yeah. you know there should be that change today we should learn that even god himself tells us that i love you it doesn't it's unconditional love and it should not be only the time amefanya mazuri mm-hmm. you know because that's another thing uh, watu wanagojianga dimo na mtreat na always affirm that to them because if you don't kuna mafisi huko nje na watawaambia hiyo story yeah. i love you kuna mse yeah. anaweza treat my daughter na mbaya chocolate ampeleka simo anaweza fanya hivyo i'm saying there's no there but if it comes to that you have never said that i've never done that what will happen to that child that daughter ataenda tu now na unajua ni memories ya church na maybe mpaka ni mtoto wa pastor unashindwa what happened it's because of your culture yeah. you 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 know saying that you know as a father i'm an african man i can never say i love you yeah. and i thank god Jeff for bring that up let's change that let's let's show them love i embrace my daughter hata to watch movie mm-hmm. like cartoon mina sometimes it's not interesting to me but because i co interested sana the dad dad what you want mickey mouse mickey mouse and i'm like mickey mouse sasa ni nani 
I have to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I just have oh Miki Mosaki and Akimbiza, I can kapanya, you know, and I don't know even what is the interest there. Yeah. But because she's so much interested on it, I just have to show her I'm with you yeah. on yeah. this thing. And that tells her, you know, at a kinda show kata kumbuka daddy mm. is better. Compare yeah. 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 if, yeah. if, yeah. if I I could add there's something uh, uh, <laughs> uh um, <laughs> as as men, you know we we have been uh, uh raised up not being shown to love. Yeah. Mm. So when we get children, we associate love as gift handing. Yeah. 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 If I if I if I buy your shoe, mm. your automatic where you want to spend. If I, I feed you and <laughs> when when uh, a parent is uh, nini, it's displaying uh Buddha na discipline mtoto anamwambia nikumekulisha nimekumalisha shiko nyumbani anataka anamwambia nimekuonesha upendo yeah. mm. but, but amekuwa ki gift and nini akim hand two gifts 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 but not affirming that love as David said yeah. Yeah. so one thing uh, i've met a lot of people uh, in my interactions who have both parents yeah. unfortunately i have only one parent uh, a mother so uh, i've met people with both parents but they still have father issues oh, yeah. so i Una, una shanga, akona father issues na they are more even deep rooted than I who has a, nini, a single yeah. parent uh, because the the parent never affirmed that love mm. so unapata if it's a girl anaenda na anapatana na buda huko ama kijana mwenye anampea gifts mm. gifts 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 so na associate kile buda alikuwa anafanya this is love this is love mm. this is love tunapata hizo hata gender violence inaingilia because sasa yeye kile ilimvuruta mm. kile amekuwa kifikiria ni love Mm-hmm. Love, in your love, in your love, in your love. So, waki chapo makofi, na bado wanapeo saa, ya, ya gold, mm-hmm. and ah, ah, in, yeah. in upendo, in upendo. So, we should get out of that, because even ata nini, uh, God says nini, for he so loved us. Mm-hmm. Alitupenda kwanza, that he gave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He loved us, he affirmed the love first. Mm-hmm. Then he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. Sinona. So, the affirmation is better even than provision. No, no. Mm-hmm. Because we know we isolate the nini, the the factor of a father to providing. Because yeah. there is corona, many fathers have turned to be uh, the the nini ourselves now yeah. to say so. Yeah. The mother is now the provider. Mm-hmm. So we know that it is quite detached. Okay. <laughs> and okay, yeah. Yeah. And and. and bringing this to a close day yeah. um yeah. this is a conversation that we, we would have <laughs> taken the whole day Man. but because of time yeah. we just we, we just have to bring this to a close yeah. mm. um what advice would you give to someone who, who who is facing the things that some of the things we have talked about mm. that kind of distance with the father mm-hmm. especially to a son yeah what kind of advice would yeah. you give to someone? first of all god mm. um i believe me foundation yangu ni god and i have learned a lot from the word of god um, the spirit of God teaches us a lot. I think that spiritual aspect is very important. It comes first. And then you have to check your background. I think most of us will uh, raise you up. Eh? If you follow what your dad did to your mother or to, to you, uh, you will go amiss, I mean, especially when it comes to raising your own cute children. Uh, because this generation is not as the same as your generation or their generation. Yeah. Things are changing. And so you have to uh, let that mindset, yeah, our oh, total, uh, you know, my, my kids change from that. And then another thing I can advise people, the friends you associate with. The Bible says bad company corrupt. Perhaps. Because yeah. you know, yeah. I will also maybe be influenced to do that. And maybe what I say, Angalia, Mimi wango mefanya Rusi Giyoma coffee. Imagine I start applying the same to my daughter. Yeah. What happens? Mambo inaharibika, you know. So you shouldn't you should take the kind of friends that you walk around with and let them be godly, let them be people that are responsible. Watu wanakunywanga hivyo mpaka wanaingia kwa drugs and let your story home. So I'll advise those people out there that please check the friends that you're walking or you're hanging out with. Also let God be number 1. Let the Bible be your teacher because the word of God has everything in it and that way I'll be able you'll be able to make it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yep. you so much. Um Andy Jeff Yes. Um, Dave, yes. it has been a privilege. Thank you, thank you uh, so much. It's a conversation that we should keep on. Yeah. You know, we should keep on uh, talking about, especially mm. because it's something that is affecting the, the, yeah, the, the, the boy society. child. Yeah, the and the boy society. Child, yeah. So, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. This is Life Probe. Yeah. Continue uh, sharing, continue commenting down, and let's continue keeping the conversation ongoing. Thank you very much for joining us. God bless. God bless.